Another Whiskey Wisdom bourbon hunt today at Turtle Creek. I am by myself without Brandon, so let's go inside and see if they got anything new. So right off the bat here, the Rye 3 Cigar Blend, or Cigar Series, excuse me, right next to the Old Elk Cigar Cut. Now we did a blind between this and the JM, and this one for me on the blind. A uh, buck 20 and a buck 15. I might be picking up these two bottles. You guys, uh, on our Patreon, if you're not a Patreon subscriber, check it out. We did a, a video of this. Really, really, really funny results for, for this bottle. Here's another bottle I'm really interested in, the Bardstown Founders Edition. I don't see this one very often. Really, all the Bardstons are so pricey. Uh, if you guys know anything about the Founders, let me know if I should be picking this up. For you Penelope fans, they've got a Penelope Architect handpick, which is interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's cool. Sean got me a Master Pick 15. It's one of my favorite bottles. I have not seen this. Look, it's a smaller bottle, cask strength, but the only thing that concerns me is it's finished in uh, wine barrels. Uh, not sure how I feel about that, especially for the price, but that's, this is intriguing to me right here, this Master Pick 15. This Widow Jane, this new, this Applewood Rye, this is a fairly new bottle. They had an older one, this is the newer bottle. This one's really good, 50 bucks. Really good deal for $50. I've not tried the Paradigm Rye. I'm interested in that one, uh, as well as this is a new item as well. Um, very interesting bottles. If you have not tried them, I recommend this one. Here are two other ones I haven't seen before. This Party Batch 112, I've not seen this. This looks interesting, Buffalo Chip Select. I have not seen this. That's interesting. And this too, the Undisputed. Somehow I've not seen this Puncher's Chance before. So $49 and $59 respectively for these two bottles. I've not seen them. They also have this listed as a Turtle's Favor. $70, this Aspen Age Dry uh, Lock & Co. Uh, World, World Spirits Gold Competition 2021. I've not seen that either. Lots of interesting stuff here. Here's another one I've never seen. Paul Sutton Bourbon, Kentucky Straight. 1916, age six years, barrel 61. I've not seen this, distilled in small batches. Anybody know anything about this? 65, or bleh, 64 bucks. I have this bottle at home, this Anita's Choice. I've been meaning to get to it. I've heard really good things about it. And they've got it here as a staff, <laughs> staff approved. Uh, I need to open the, crack this open and try this maybe on a live stream next Friday. But I've been meaning to try this. I've heard really good things about it. Here's two more I haven't seen. Bull Run, uh, what is this? This one's straight, they're both straight. Oh, barrel, one's barrel strength. 63 bucks for the barrel strength, 44 for the regular straight. I have not seen anything about Bull Run before either. So that's interesting. <laughs> of course you gotta have Lincoln Bourbon. Another one I haven't seen, 113 proof. Man, they got some interesting things here today. Lincoln Bourbon, anybody know anything about this? 49 bucks. I don't know if I'd want that staring at me on my shelf. <laughs> and every time I come here, I always debate getting a Lead Slinger 10. I don't know anything about this either, but 85 bucks on a whim. I don't know if I can pull the trigger on that one. So if you guys know anything about Lead, Lead Slinger 10, let me know. I've also got the uh, the Rare Stash here, which is, I'm gonna wanna try that. And the old Everest 7, or excuse me, old Ezra 7. It's the Rye version there. So after the, after the haul, we went on two separate hauls. I went on a haul uh, by myself at Turtle Creek, and then we went together just now trying to find some new stuff. For whatever reason, and we were talking about this behind the scenes, I guess let us know, do the shelves seem sparse in your yeah, area? Yeah, I've noticed this too. We, we were both talking about this. If, if you've seen in your local <laughs> area the shelves being a little more sparsely populated than normal, let us know. It could yeah. be just our area. All right, so what do we got here? So this is a bottle that was on a hunt we did a while ago. This was at Cork and Keg, and I was gonna buy this. This is the infamous, oh, that's Duck Dynasty that Brandon said. Oh, started. that's right, I got flamed for that so bad. Yeah, not Duck Dynasty. And uh, I really <laughs> wanted to buy it, and I got talked down of it by the salesman there. And I always regretted it, and I went back and bought it. It says that it's Char 2, uh, and it has hints of dark chocolate and caramel, um, Caramel, what? What is this? I can't read it. Caramel. Caramel. Uh, notes. Caramel notes. notes. Okay. <laughs> God, it took that long. Yeah, to say right. Notes. Ninety-six proof. Uh, so maybe we will drink this on the Friday Night Live. Yeah. Why maybe. Don't we try that? All right. Good. Next bottle. Next thing we have. Ah, 
the Rye Three, uh, Rye Three, the Rye Whiskey Cigar Series. I call it the Rye Three. I don't. Uh, that's what I always call it. Maybe I'm wrong. So yeah, uh, pick this up for 109 bucks. Turtle Creek had it, I think, for a buck twenty or buck ten or something. So Jack's actually had it cheaper. I'm glad that I went to buy it. Road. We are about to shoot a blind of this in Jam Magnus in just a minute. So you'll see that video uh, Tuesday. Cool. Yeah. All right. Next. And this is this is a rye though. So Brandon thinks it's going to be really obvious which one's going to be going to be what. Okay. Now. <laughs> So, <laughs> the famous grouse. Major Zero. I don't know if Major Zero is going to watch this video or not, but uh, I asked him what the benchmark equivalent of scotch was, and he said this was one of them. So, I found this bottle. Excuse me. We will also try this on the live stream. All right, Brandon's getting some other stuff. So, while he's getting some other stuff, what I will say is I'll overlay some of the footage now. Turtle Creek's got like a really expansive selection. Uh, the most amount of old elk I've ever seen any store have ever in my whole life. That's oh, number yeah. one. Um, a lot of uh, hard to find bottles and bottles I've never heard of. They have a really good selection of some unique bottles in my opinion. And um, they have an, another bottle that I'll show you that I got there too. So also the, they had Weller all overlay too. They had Weller for 26 bucks, which is the cheapest I've ever seen Weller. Incredibly cheap. Yeah, and I haven't I seen any less than that ever. I told Brandon, I don't know if you could hear Brandon, he says he's never seen any cheaper than that. I told Brandon I wasn't going to buy any more Weller because I have too many, but I had to buy one because it's 26 bucks. Like, that's so crazy. At least for our area. Okay, so Bull and I have had an interesting relationship. I used to think that I liked them a lot. I guess I could record you instead of the bottles. So ah. People aren't just staring at bottles. And when I would go to my cigar bars early in my bourbon journey days, I would always order an old fashioned with bullet. Right. And then during COVID when we were, well, <laughs> we isn't me, we're just going through a bunch of bourbon. Uh, I did a bunch of blinds. It was like yeah. my first time really doing blinds and bullet consistently lost. And I was like, okay, I guess I hate bullet. Fair now, enough. what I will say is I have this bottle. Here's my last bottle. Actually, I have a little bit of a bottle up there, but um, I have this bullet uh frontier or frontier geez uh what is this blender select and it is the 001 and this bottle was very heavy cherry to me if i remember it correctly i've had this bottle for a very long time it doesn't look like you've tasted much out of it it's never been opened oh then how do you know it had cherry because i have it i have oh, a second have the bottle. same bottle yes okay yes. okay okay so i have another one that's up there that's open i see yeah anyways and so when i was at turtle creek he had a single barrel and I was like, yeah, I'm not really a fan of Bullet. And I sampled it. He had like a sampling section and fell in love with it. So Bullet and I may be friends again with this barrel that he picked. He said Bullet sent him like seven little teeny samples. And this was the barrel that he picked. And I got to say, it was pretty damn good. All right. So anyways, so I got this. All right, what else you got, Brandon? Okay. Is that, so, all, is that all that's in the bags? Uh, yeah, the bags are done. Okay. The bags are done. All right. So we didn't have a great time today finding footage that's interesting for the channel but i have to say looking at what i picked up i have some really interesting bottles that i'm glad i have so first um the ever-present backup of eagle rare this was just at jack's um 40, 45 dollars and change 45, okay. um, not terrible and they get it pretty often so uh, i gave one of these away uh for a father's day gift so i had to replace it all right and then uh we were at cork and keg and we found uh, the King's Riconic Honey Barrel. This is coming to you, our buddy Sean from going, Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. If, if Sean, if Echoes, if you're watching this, that's coming to you, buddy, right that's there. Cheers, pal. For all he's done for us, we owed him at least one, probably more bottles. Uh, this was interesting. Not so, a probably. We definitely owe him we more We definitely bottles. do. Yeah. This is a King's Family Distillery. Um, Look at this. Select single barrel 15 year. 15 year. Can I focus on that? Look at that. That is... Oh, dude, I didn't even see the proof until just now. Neither 138 sean you'll love this buddy <laughs> this is like this is like uh, what sean drinks to go to sleep he's like, right right this is my midnight so I'm milk forward to trying that that looks awesome all right really happy to have that and the creme de la creme i was able to find yeah maker's mark 2023 2023 bep this so, is we tasted this i loved it matt had bought a couple of bottles didn't sell me the second one which i don't blame him for because it's really good <laughs> I've been looking for it since then, and I found it for a hundred bucks, which is a little more than it was on the shelf when it came out. But I'm okay with it. Yeah, I got really lucky and found it at Jack's for like sixty nine or or fifty nine. I think it was sixty nine on the shelf, and they had two, and I bought them both. Uh, one of my favorite makers' bottles. We saw this at Connolly's for a buck twenty nine. Yeah, and we and passed. I didn't buy it. And then we really ran into it a second time, weirdly enough, because I, I have not seen that bottle in a while, and we saw it twice today. Yeah. 
in the second place, which was Liberty World Spirits had it for ninety nine ninety nine ninety nine. That was awesome. So glad you waited. So, really, I'm really happy with what I picked up. Yep. Did you pause? No, no. I'm really happy with what I picked up. Uh, uh, my wife, uh, when you watch this, honey, I'm sorry. I spent too much money on bourbon again. All right, so another one that we saw at uh, Liberty World's... Or no, no, this was Jack's. This was Jack's, yeah. Yeah, so River Aged, OH... I, I thought it said old, but it's actually OH Ingram. Uh, river Aged, so I guess the distillery sits on the river. Yeah. I don't know if it's in a boat. I don't know if it's on a dock. I don't know much about it. Uh, 105 proof. This is weeded. Apparently it's pretty sweet, a little bit mellow. I'm interested. I like mellow. I like sweet. I like weeded. Absolutely. Uh, Major Major Zero is probably really laughing at me right now, but uh, <laughs> these are the. So this is. Oh, there's a bottle on here. I think. Oh, oh, barge number. Okay, so there's the barge it's on it a came barge. from. We so know that. there you go. Um, I'm the, the only thing that makes me a little hesitant on this. It was like seventy bucks. I it think. Was or, a little pricey. It was like sixty-five, or it was in the sixties or seventies. So hoping I don't hate it. It is what it is. They're great bottles. Yep. All right. So that's it, guys. We're going to be doing some tastings, reviews of this stuff. Uh, and that's it. All right. So I'm, I'm Matt. I'm Brandon. See you guys on the next episode. Cheers. Bye, guys.